Not my best work, but it'll do. I think the case can be made that one of the biggest issues in any shop is floor space. Right now I'm talking into a camera sitting on a tripod and that tripod takes up a good 8 square feet of floor space. Now, considering the fact that I've only got about 800 square feet, that's a lot. I had this idea that maybe if I get stuff off the floor, it would improve the workflow. And this is my solution. This is a dental exam light and this is going to replace my tripod. We'll start by removing the part we don't need, which is the light itself. That's a nice piece of mirrored glass. I'm going to use that for something. And we've got a nice big transformer in there that I will be able to use for something, but I'm not going to use it on this. Now this is what they call a multi-tap transformer. You've got a common, and then they're labeled high, medium, and low. Depending on where you put the input voltage, that changes the output voltage. I know I can use that for something, and I even have something in mind. This rotary switch is how they selected which tap to put voltage to on that transformer. Now this is a quick release camera mount. I've got one of these on the bottom of each of my cameras, and it just snaps in. I've got one of these on the top of all my tripods and camera mounts. So the next thing we have to do is put one of these on the boom of that exam light. It's apparent this was built in a way that was never intended to come apart. Okay, so this is the handle that uh, steered the light around, and it's a pretty hefty piece of cast aluminum. I think what I'm going to do is just drill a hole right through there and bolt this on. That should do. Now I checked before I even started, and the camera fits inside this hoop, so that's not going to be a problem, except the, uh, the shotgun microphone that sits on top of the camera will not fit in this hoop. Okay, so this is not bad, but these are in the way, so I'm going to have to just cut those off. So I've hit a snag, and that is when I uh, put this mount in that hole I drilled, uh, the camera battery cannot be removed. And since I change the camera battery every half hour or so, um, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to offset the whole thing back a little bit. And I'll just uh, bolt a plate onto that and uh, mount this onto that plate. Now this is a stroke of luck. This plate has two tapped holes in it that are the exact same spacing as these two holes that are already here. So to deal with the shotgun mic, all I did was turn it 90 degrees on its shock mount and the whole thing just fits in there and that's looking pretty good to me. All that remains is to mount it to the ceiling, so let's scout a candidate location for that. And what I just discovered is if I just bolt this up to the rafters, it's going to be way too high by about 20 inches. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, lengthen this tube by 20 inches. So I actually have a couple of options. I could either make a new tube that's the right length or just lengthen this one. These are two different thread pitches on the ends. It would be a lot faster and a lot easier to just cut this in half and put an extension tube in the middle. So that's the way we're going with it. Let's talk about my welding table for a minute. It's got two halves. Each of them is 14 by 44. The reason it's only 44 inches is because that's how long these pieces of rectangular tubing I found were. And uh, uh, I actually made it first as just this one half with the slotted end and then I added the other, the other half because I needed some flat space without the slots. But having the slots, very handy. I want to weld these three tubes together. They just kind of sit down in there. 
they're perfectly aligned. Now all I gotta do is come around and butt weld. Don't forget to sand the paint off before you start welding. This is the mountain. I'm going to put two of these on a rafter and then I'm going to install this cross beam on the rafter for the, uh, for the third leg. And then we'll just uh, bolt it on with lag bolts. Well, there were a couple snags along the way, but that pretty much turned out just the way I thought it was going to. And that thing's going to come in really handy. I know I'm going to have to add some weight to the camera, though, because the, uh, the retractor spring wants to just keep it at the highest position all the time. And uh, that'll be good most of the time, but uh, it should be balanced. So wherever you put the camera, it stays right there. I want to remind everybody before I go that uh, if you're watching this video before March 1st, 2018, click the link above and make sure you're entered to win the Morgan number 20 woodworking vise that I'm giving away. It's a really high quality American made woodworking vise that would be a welcome addition to anybody's woodworking bench. Brand new, they cost about $150 and this one is used but I did go through and refurbish it. So it's in real nice shape and anybody would be happy to use it. So that's all for this time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.